Lately, I've been using a flip phone. It's something I always wanted to do, and it feels like the natural progression of my decision to ditch most social media quite a few years ago. With an already relatively low screen time of about an hour and 45 minutes each day on my smartphone, compared to higher numbers I saw in other people's videos, I never felt sure if I could justify the change to a dumb phone, or if I'd get many benefits from it. What made me finally take the plunge was the realisation that my phone was still causing me stress. Every time I opened it for one thing, I got reminded of other things I needed to do, reply to, or I would open it for one thing and immediately get distracted by another app fighting for my attention. I had wanted to try a dumb phone for years, but I just wasn't sure if it was possible. I used my phone for so much, like mood tracking, banking and train tickets, but in the end I decided I wanted it for so long that I should just try. I picked up a flip phone at the end of last year and I finally settled on a sort of hybrid approach where I still use my smartphone when necessary, a couple of times a day. It took me a while to decide how exactly I want to use the dumb phone, but I found that checking my smartphone just a couple of times a day works for me. And my current screen time is down to about 30 to 40 minutes per day on my smartphone, so an hour less than it was before. So switching phones did benefit me, even with a screen time that wasn't wildly high. The phone I got is the Nokia 2660 Flip. I use it for texts and calls, and it has a camera that I don't really use, um, as well as Snake, of course. I use it for my daily alarm too, and that's about it. I use my laptop for WhatsApp and Messenger, and occasionally my smartphone if I don't want to turn my laptop on. The main benefit I'm getting from using a dumb phone is more peace of mind. Although those tasks I complained about on my smartphone haven't gone away, writing them down in a pocket notebook has given me more control over when I'm reminded of them, since I have to check it on purpose. When I do use my smartphone, it's for a specific purpose, and my mindset has shifted more to using it like a portable computer. Still, I mostly leave it at home and just use it when I don't want to turn on my laptop but still need to do something. What other benefits am I seeing? Well, because texting on my Nokia is difficult, I've started having more phone calls with my friends and family, which has been really nice. Having a dumb phone also stops me googling every thought and filling my head with information I don't really need. I used to run to the internet to look up thoughts I had or things I was experiencing, and while that has some benefits like reading other people's perspectives, it was mostly unnecessary research and didn't actually add anything to my life apart from mental clutter. I was also an offender for opening tabs with things I meant to research and then just leaving the tabs open and not doing it treating them like another kind of to-do list. I had hundreds of tabs open of things that I just hadn't got around to reading about. Just typing into Google was enough to scratch the itch and for me to stop there. Now that I have to write things down in a notebook and Google them later, I'm Googling fewer things and it actually feels fun when I do do it. I think one of the reasons for this is because when you can get information instantly, it feels like it's nothing special. Comparatively, waiting to look up a band you heard about or get some other information feels much more special and intentional. It's like that feeling you might have had when you were a kid and someone bought you a book about something you liked. If you didn't have much internet access, the book would have been ten times more fun because it was a rare source of information about your interest. It's actually one of the things I like about one of my hobbies, which is rock climbing. Because you can't Google information about each route you climb at the gym, finding out bits of information from other people is so much more rewarding than if you could just look up a tutorial on how to get to the top. It feels like you're obtaining secret, special information. I don't know if I've explained this concept very well, but I hope you know what I mean. The other thing I noticed is that writing things in a notebook is a lot of fun, in my opinion, even more than writing them digitally. You get to have nice stationery and enjoy the feel of pen and paper. It's actually quite grounding. I hope to make more videos going into more detail about how I use my phone and the effect it's having on my mental health, and I hope you enjoyed this as an overview. If you're interested in trying a dumb phone, I hope you've found my perspective useful. 
I was pleased to be able to reduce my screen time even more and I'm very happy with my current setup. Thanks for watching.